Normandy, I pull a, it's a bit of a blank, really. Mm. It's, I lost, I mean, Normandy, I don't think the people realise what a bloodletting it really was. And it was, oh yes, regiments went in and they was looted whole platoons. Well, of course, that wasn't being published about that. And it's only, latterly, it's come out that all these men have been in Normandy. And as far as the Normandy, I haven't got, I have got one clear memory. Only one. And that was, well, the, the rest of it, Normandy, is it was a, is a something that happened, and I can't remember anything about it. It was, all, but in my case, uh, and I can't. Normandy to me, I, I, whether I allowed it to not take a, but we, because. Uh, all the men we lost in Normandy, because the Germans really put up a tough fight there. Uh, and there was plenty of regiments went in, British regiments went in, and they was losing 10, 20, 30 men. And of course, it wasn't being reported. I can't say... I. I cannot give you a clear picture of Normandy, only one. Okay. Could you please tell me? Eh? Could you please tell me the thing you do well, remember, please? We was out of the line, as we called it, and there came, let me get this right, we was out of the line, and we were then beginning to get uh, the better of the Germans and we had an officer he was I believe he had, he couldn't stand no more and he was sent back uh, on sick leave and then the uh, the, uh, the adjutant, not the adjutant, the second in command, he was made command and he was wounded almost straight away. So it finished up, we got, there was a, another one and then they said to us, oh, we're getting a new commander in the uh, coming. And that was in the evening. And I was, as I said, I was a, a radio operator and whatnot. And I was, it was my turn to go shotgun. Dash. What do you relate with shotgun? Is it riding a lot? Cowboy films. Okay, you see. And, and we nicknamed this particular duty as being on shotgun. You went out and you operated the radio and one thing or another and then I said we go out <coughs> and he was on shotgun and he, uh, he then we had a well I was on a weekend and they said, oh, the new commander has come. And he, and he came out. And he came over and we got the carrier, the breakdown carrier. And I was sitting there with the radio and whatnot. He never spoke to me. He never said anything to me. And he just, and he told the driver he was going to drive 
the carrier and he dismissed it. Now, and we went off to inspect his new command. Well, actually, the rest of the battery was out and with the rest. So it didn't take all that long. <coughs> and then I found myself sitting in the carrier and he was driving it and we were going down a lane and I thought, I don't like this. I don't like this. It was a, like any lane in Buckinghamshire. Uh, and he, he never, he'd never spoken to me. He never said, how oh, are people think of that? And then, then we came across a group of infantry. That's a bit freaky. And they said they was what? They were standing patrol. They in so, like military things, that meant to say they were there and they were keeping a lookout for any sign of the enemy. And then if they saw any sign of the enemy, they would go back and report it. Well, he, he was there. And there was this here. So, uh, and the sergeant in charge of this group, he was there, and he said to this officer, oh, he said, uh, the, the, this officer had then decided he would go on foot. And he, the officer said to him, oh, that will be very dangerous. He said, anybody can see you're an officer. And he turned around and he said to the sergeant, I never hid my rank in the desert. I don't need to hide it now. Really. And he did no more. He set off on foot down this lane. Well, after a bit, we, my sergeant, this sergeant said to me, he's been gone too long. And he said, he says, we better, he says, we better go and see if we can see anything. Well, we crept down and I was thinking to myself, well, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> I, was, I was carrying a Stink gun, which I'd never used in anger. I'd used it for training, and I was thinking, I wonder how I should behave if I got to use this. I was crossing my mind, well, well how shall I behave if I got to use this stink gun? <laughs> I was crossing my mind more than anything else. And then the sergeant signalled. He could see something, and then he and he come back. He says, "I say, a man, the sniper's got him. He's laying out there." He says, and he says, "Well, we're not going to get trapped. We're to, we're go back the way we came, and we did it as quietly." And I reported on the radio, "My sunray." is dead. The sunray is the title they give for the person who's in command. And I said, my sunray is dead. And they said to me, or they came back, remain where you are and we will send somebody. Now, the dark thing was, they didn't know where we were because he hadn't left any information. We hadn't got any. And it was quite some time before they found us. And so, uh, I don't know. I know that is the bit in Normandy I remember most. Mm -hmm.